The influencer at number 10 is Sheikha Official. She's a former musician and she grew up agnostic and atheist. And she was someone who got married at the age of 18 years old and she stayed married to her first husband till the age of 25. Now, she didn't know any Muslims growing up and she started having great success in her music career and she performed on stage with some pretty big names. But there was one particular incident that happened at a music event and this unfortunate incident led her to the point of wanting to end her own life. Now, it was her mother who intervened with prayer for her and told her to also pray. And it was that exact moment where her pain from her past completely left her, she says. Now she makes videos on various social media platforms with her husband named Mohammed for entertainment and educational purposes and also gives her viewers insight into their lives as a married couple. Kishama Meridian comes next. She's an Australian YouTuber and Instagrammer who posts a lot of makeup, fashion, and lifestyle content. She describes herself as being a very open person, and she's in the past explored other religions like Christianity and Judaism, but for some reason, they didn't really click for her, so she kind of stopped looking into those religions. But for some reason though, it was Islam that really spoke to her heart. Her partner, who is a Muslim, helped guide her in her fascination with Islam. And it was about six months into her in-depth study and research and watching lectures about Islam. That's when she took her Shahada, which is a profession of faith, because she believed that Islam answered all of her questions like what would happen when you die. And for her, the answers that Islam provided was satisfactory for her. Next up at number eight, we have Rosie Gabrielle. She's a Canadian solo traveler and she spent many of her years exploring Pakistan and that's where she really ended up converting to Islam. Rosie says that she quit her job and she decided to live a life following what she's passionate about and part of that passion was traveling. She gives big thanks to the people of Pakistan for helping her with the pain and the distress that she had been facing for years years to the point where she was just crying. She even made a video where she broke down in tears on camera. But now she says that she is completely free and at peace. Next up, let's look at Jay Palfrey. Jay Palfrey, who is he? Well, he's a British vlogger whose channel is growing pretty fast, actually. At the time of recording this video, he is just over 900,000 subscribers, well on his way to a million subscribers. And his videos, as you can imagine, have reached millions of people across the world. He started his YouTube channel back in January of 2017, and he started uploading videos in April of 2019. So it took him a little while to really get on the YouTube bandwagon, but he started uploading travel vlogs and reaction videos too, and he traveled to Istanbul, Turkey, India, Romania, and various other countries. And when he converted, he uploaded a video where he took his Shahada, the profession of faith in Islam, in Turkey on August 16th, 20. 20. Number six brings us to Aisha Rosalie. Now, she is a British YouTuber as well, and she became very popular after she converted to Islam. She got a job when she was completing her higher studies in London, England, and then after that, she decided to move to LA in the United States, and that's when she really began to train herself to become a professional actor. But that was Pretty short-lived and one day she decided that, you know, she just wants to go visit some other countries, get away from America for a bit. And Turkey was the first country on her list. So when she went to Istanbul, Turkey, that's where her interest in Islam really began. Now, Musti Menk was the first scholar that she started to listen to as a non-Muslim and she credits his talks and lectures to be the thing that actually made a big difference for her when it came to converting to Islam. Number five, in at this spot is Aslima. Eileen Lahi, who goes by the username Aslima, she is an Instagram star and a YouTuber from the country of Estonia. I don't know too many people from Estonia, as a matter of fact, I don't think I can recall one off the top of my head right now. Either way, she usually posts selfies and travel photos and pictures of her family while donning modest clothing. And now you'll also find travel vlogs on her YouTube channel and videos where she shares her 
her faith. Her journey to Islam started at the age of 14 years old, but she was not raised in any particular religion though. Young's World comes in at number four. Now, he was a strict Christian growing up in a very strict Christian household. Like his entire family was heavily involved in the church. He's from South Korea and he launched his YouTube channel in 2019 and you'll find some pretty funny reaction videos and skits. But you see, due to some crimes that were actually committed in several churches when he used to attend and also the fact that he noticed so many Christians were not practicing their faith at all, well, that really turned him off from religion in general, and he got to the point where he just didn't want to follow any religion. But after he began YouTube and began to see God on his own, he was actually urged by his fans to explore and embrace Islam. And when he became Muslim, he didn't even want to tell his friends and family, but now he's a lot more public with his faith. Mr. Watwa comes in at number three. Three, Abdullahi Uni, also known as Mr. Watwa on social media. He has a fast growing YouTube channel and he actually converted to Islam after two years of doing research and studying. Originally, he was from the country of Nigeria and he comes from a Catholic background and the majority of his videos you'll find are vlogs and reaction videos. As a matter of fact, he's even reacted to some of our videos on FTD Facts in the past. Like take for instance our Facts About Hinduism video where he did a reaction to. This group of texts are known as Vedas. Vedas are also called Surti. Unlike other religious texts, the more and more he viewed content on religion, especially on Islam, well, his beliefs and views started to shift as he questioned his Catholic beliefs. Fans were really happy when he announced on YouTube that he took his Shahada and officially became a Muslim. And now this guy has such a great personality. He's always in a good mood. And honestly, I would have to say that watching his videos leaves me in a good mood and I'm sure it'll do the same for you as well. The influencer at number two is Dawood Kim. Dawood Kim, he's a famous Korean YouTuber and his name is J. David Kim, also known as Dawood Kim. He declared that he converted to Islam and he actually grew up Christian, but after spending quite a bit of time looking into and examining Islam for himself, he decided that it was the religion that he wanted to choose to practice. Now, after becoming Muslim, he changed his name to Dawood Kim, and Dawood is the Arabic pronunciation of the name David. When it comes to converting to Islam, he says this in his own words, and I quote, I'm so happy. Actually, I'm so happy. There are some hardships and difficulties in Korea as a Muslim, but instead of that, I am so happy because so many Muslims in Korea said congratulations. And finally, we end off this episode with number one. This one was the most surprising for me, Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa, he is a very popular Muslim YouTuber. He's a content creator from Turkey whose videos help spread the message of Islam as well as inspire young people. Ali Dawa comes from a Shia and agnostic household and they never really practice their religious beliefs or anything and surprisingly in his teenage years he was involved with gangs and it wasn't until he moved in with his dad and started hanging out with a new group of friends that his life started to turn around. Ali is a student of comparative religion and because of that, he has a whole catalog of videos that aim to raise awareness on topics related to religion and how you can compare them and come to your own conclusions. He's a staunch promoter of Islam and his videos really, really, really embody the passion that he has for people wanting to know about the religion of Islam. At number 10, we have Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson, of course, is the sister of the legendary singer Michael Jackson and a renowned actress and singer herself. She converted to Islam back in the year 2013 in order to marry her Muslim fiance, Wissam Al-Mana. Janet Jackson left the entertainment industry after marrying the Qatar-based billionaire entrepreneur, claiming that she was tired of the antagonistic industry and needed some privacy from the snooping paparazzi. She is, however, planning a comeback apparently, with a new album under her own record label. Number nine, we have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Ferdinand Louis Alcindor Jr. changed his name to Abdul-Jabbar 
after converting to Islam. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he rose to prominence as a basketball player while growing up in New York City. He dominated the local high school and was later transferred to UCLA. He won the 1971 NBA title with Oscar Robertson and after winning the title, he announced the news of his conversion. While talking about the reason why he changed his name, he said this and I quote, the adoption of a new name was an extension of my rejection of everything in my life that related to my families and people's enslavement. He said this in a 2015 Al Jazeera America editorial. He then went on to say, and I quote, my ancestors were owned by Alcindor, a French planter in the West Indies. My ancestors were Yorubas from the modern day Nigeria. Keeping the name of my family slave master seemed to dishonor them in some way. His name felt like a shameful scar. From there, let's move on to Sharmila Tagore. Sharmila Tagore, a Hindu by birth, converted to Islam after falling in love with an Indian Muslim cricketer, Mansur Ali Khan Patadi. She converted to Islam in order to marry Khan back in the year 1969. While Tagore, she felt pressured to convert to Islam before marrying a Muslim, her daughter-in-law, Karina Kapoor Khan, did not feel the same way before marrying a Muslim actor, Saif Ali Khan. In at the number seven spot, we have Dharmendra and Hima Malini. The 90s couple of Dharmendra and Hima Malini converted to Islam in the year 1979 in order to marry each other. Dharmendra was already married to Parkash Kaur when he fell in love with Hima Malini while filming Sholay. As Hindu law does not allow a man to marry two women at a time, so Dharmendra decided to change his religion to Islam so he could marry his love. Later, Dharmendra changed his name to Dilawar Khan Kiwal Krishna. Now, as they did change their religion just to get married, it is quite unsure if they ever were really practicing Muslims. Next up on the list, at number six, we have Omar Epps. Omar Epps, better known as Dr. Foreman on House, well, he is reportedly a Muslim. There are no confirmed reports on his conversion because the actor has always kept his religious views very private. But it is claimed that not only is he Muslim by faith, but his middle name is also Hashim. Up next, at number five, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Doggy Dogg. In 2009, he converted his religion to Islam and joined the Nation of Islam, the group made in the 1930 with the aim to promote conditions for black Americans. While talking about his reasons for joining the group, he said, and I quote, I'm a peace advocate and I've been in the peace movement since I started making music. My whole thing isn't about trying to force my thing on you, it's just about the way I live and I live how I'm supposed to live in terms of doing what's right and representing what's right, which is why I'm here today. Funny man, Dave Chappelle is up next at number four. Dave Chappelle, of course, a United States comic genius. He is one of the world's best, if not the best stand-up comedians, but he converted to Islam back in the year 1998. His conversion to Islam was influenced by his brother who had converted to Islam under the influence of the Nation of Islam and his 10-year-old Muslim family member, Salim. Now, later on, it was reported that Dave Chappelle, he abruptly left the controversial show business. And this was when his show, The Chappelle Show, was in the middle of production because the content contradicted his Islamic beliefs. But of course, he's made a big comeback now and he, in true Dave Chappelle fashion, has started a lot of controversy in revealing some truths behind society and the media industry. Mike Tyson comes next. He is the former heavyweight world champion and he has long been regarded as one of boxing's most intimidating fighters. Even to this date, people are still afraid of Mike Tyson. Either way though, 
outside of the ring, Mike Tyson has frequently found himself on the wrong side of the law. Mike Tyson was convicted of sexual assault in the year 1992, and the world champion boxer was arrested and imprisoned for three years. Now, while he was in prison, he reportedly underwent a personal change. Mike Tyson, according to reports, converted to Islam after finding solace in Islamic preaching and beliefs. There were a few people that knew about his conversion until he tweeted a photo of himself performing Umrah in front of the Holy Kaaba in Mecca in the year 2010. A.R. Rahman is at number two. The legendary Indian music producer, singer, songwriter is known for his remarkable music compositions and was born in a Hindu household. While his mother was raised in an Islamic family and was inspired by Sufism, Rahman, he grew up as a Hindu. Only after meeting Qadiri Islam, when his younger sister became gravely ill, was he then drawn to Islamic ideals and all of their values. Then he was really moved by the religion and then soon converted to it. Coming in at number one, we have Muhammad Ali. Have you ever heard the name Cassius Clay? Well, he is no other than Muhammad Ali, the legendary boxing champion and Olympic medalist. When he was born, he was baptized as a Christian and given the name Cassius Clay. However, at the age of 20 years old, the boxer met Malcolm X, who introduced him to the Nation of Islam. And Ali was inspired and soon converted to Islam under the mentorship of Malcolm X, beginning his Sufism practice in the year 2005. Muhammad Ali was outspoken and influential, and he wore his badge of being a Muslim very proudly. So, okay, starting at number 10, we have Zayn Malik. Former One Direction singer Zayn Malik is one of the most famous Muslim stars out there right now. His religious identity, of course, has caused a lot of criticism and conflict, especially because of his smoking and his tattoos and his lavish celebrity lifestyle. Conservative Muslims say that these are completely inconsistent with the teachings of Islam, so he's not even really a Muslim in their view. Next up, at number nine, we have Shaquille O'Neal, AKA Shaq. Now he has been identified as Muslim in several biographies, but he is quoted to have said, I'm Muslim, I'm Jewish, I'm Buddhist, I'm everybody, cause I'm a people person. Shaq played for six different teams over his 19 year NBA career, and he won four NBA championships and was an NBA all-star as well. Shaquille O'Neal was raised Christian, but he had a Muslim stepfather. Coming at number eight, we have Janet Jackson. So Janet Jackson, the sister of the late Michael Jackson, was a huge pop culture icon in her own right. She sold over 160 million records and won five Grammy Awards. And you know, Janet Jackson, like the rest of her family, was raised as Jehovah's Witness, but she converted to Islam back in the year 2015. And that came just a few years after marrying a Muslim billionaire by the name of Wissam Al Mana. Lupe Fiasco comes at the number seven spot. So American rapper Lupe Fiasco initially disliked the musical genre of hip hop because of its tendency to promote drugs and was just completely vulgar and it promoted a lot of violence and misogyny. However, he appears to avoid all of that temptation and he produces his own unique style of rap, which is in line with his Muslim faith. Not many people knew that he's a practicing Muslim. The sixth spot goes to T-Pain, recording artist T-Pain, whose real name is Fahim Rashid Naeem. He was raised Muslim and he expressed his beliefs in religion and has said that he does not like that religion separates people. This is what he said and I quote, I try not to put a label on my beliefs. I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, I was raised Muslim, I believe in everything. I believe in Buddha, I believe in whatever it is. I like free will. Halfway in, we have Iman. So Iman Mohammed Abdul Majid, the Somali American model, entrepreneur, and actress, professionally known as simply Iman, is a Muslim as well. Her stage name literally means faith in Arabic. 
Comedian Dave Chappelle comes in at number four. So he was raised by a Unitarian Universalist minister and was originally an atheist. Back in the year 1998, Chappelle converted to Islam and he even tried to go on the ceremonial pilgrimage called Hajj. But he was held up in Turkey because he was denied a visa. Yeah, Dave Chappelle has a long history of controversy, but he seems to continue to pop up in the public eye and continues to go strong. Number three brings us Dr. Oz. Dr. Mehmet Oz is of Turkish American descent and he's also a Muslim. He's an acclaimed surgeon and author and the host of the popular health and wellness TV series, The Dr. Oz Show. And this was launched by Oprah Winfrey's network, Harpo Productions, in conjunction with Sony Pictures. Former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson comes in at number two. Mike Tyson has held all three major championship belts that boxing offers. His career has had its share of controversial moments, which I won't get into right now because yeah, that's that's uh, no, no. But Mike Tyson, he says that he is a proud Muslim. And finally, at number one, we have Angelina Jolie. Okay, well, she's like three religions. Angelina. Jolie, she visited Pakistan and she actually goes there pretty often and she's known for dabbling into several different religions like Buddhism, Christianity and Islam and she's even said that I have a Buddhist son and I'd like a Christian and a Muslim child too.